Hola! My name's Captain Caleb. Let me save this before we just continue on. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man! I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up the piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you are willing to help us out for the festival too. Oh, uh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day where the school will... I will conquer you, dyslexia! But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, I don't... Do they usually have friend squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Yeah, I didn't say that. I don't like it. I'm gonna cut this, Caleb. Give me one second. I have to use the bathroom real quick. Oh, okie dokie. Okie dokie, Ardichoki. I'm back. Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. Uh, that's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where's Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at the desk in the corner looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh, uh... <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. She's jealous! Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone else. Well, all right, if you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dis dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been practicing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Caribou, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little bit too much, but she seems a little... Seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? 
I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm not surprised... I, but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Caribou. You certainly know a lot, her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to, to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she seemed really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, so, you know. Maybe I'll try to talk to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she really wanted to be left alone. <clears throat> are you sure? Maybe she just is having a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Caribou. Me? How do I do? I don't even know what that was. How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, maybe it's the fact that all three of them are throwing their bodies at you. I probably shouldn't say too much, but you're practically got your breast in your face. You're probably. Uh, I'm not gonna read. Uh, Shall I? Uh, the uh, uh, boy feels. <laughs> Sarah talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. A second like extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sarah is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it's ever been. <laughs> You're so funny, Caribou. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she feels when she's around you? Hey! Oh, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get those words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet I can't hear from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have some, to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her and that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Hey you! Eh? I look up to Natsuki next to me. Are you going to sit there and sta keep staring at nothing? There isn't, m there isn't that much time, so... Ah, sorry. I didn't even mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. I was just... <clears throat> Natsuki glanced down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right. Something just came up for a minute. We, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If, something, if something's bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone. And I will. I mean... Assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbles that last part. Nah, I'm probably f making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something's happened to her. Oh. Natsuki exhales. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah? Then in that case, I think you should treat her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly! 
If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought of, thought of it the way that... That way from the start! Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you worried about me, so... I was not! Jeez. If you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Okay, everyone. After some time, Monica calls out the classroom. The club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everyone is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Sayori. <laughs> this is getting really weird! Hmm. <laughs> it's nice, I guess. Come on, I already tell you... I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Natsuki. Eh, uh, I didn't write this for anyone specific. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good! I thought you managed to me. Thank you, Caribou! Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, no nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright, just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You go play with everyone else now, alright? If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? <laughs> Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the room, humming to herself. Okay! <laughs> let's see, let's see. You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course. You know I like your writing. I just gave her a new voice, didn't I? <laughs> I'm just surprised. It seems like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, well, of course! I just had to put you in your place a little bit. I'm just giving her the same voice. Next thing you know, I'm going to be mixing all these voices around and then I'm going to be confusing myself. You just got to keep with the same voice. It's not like that. It's not like, I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or jealous! I really wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer. That's a dumb thing to get jealous about. <laughs> Natsuki. What? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Uh, what are you talking about? My writing is obviously the best. Right? It took me a while to figure out, but I think I finally did. Maybe Natsuki acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for, the, for her own insecurities. It took you that long, you dunce! If she acts like that, if she acts like she's the best, then other people might think that way too. Right? Caribou, please just tell me you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. I just, I just really need to hear that from someone. I know I sound stupid, but there's a reason I never shared my poems before this. Natsuki. Because... Because no one ever takes me seriously. What's the point in sharing your poems if people just laugh and share, say, That's so cute, just like you, Natsuki. Sometimes I don't want to be cute. But nobody understands that. I try really hard when I write. The style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? I just want... Natsuki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips started to quiver. I look down. Her fists are clenched really tightly. Hey, Natsuki. If you're not careful, you rip your own poem. I gently grab the poem with my own hands until she relaxes her grip on it. I place it flat on my desk and smooth out the wrinkles that she just put into it. D -d -d Don't read it! 
Before I can pick it up, Natsuki snatches the poem from the desk. It's not any good. And I know you hate my poems, so you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. W why? Because I like your poems. I really do. Why, do. why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to, to think your style is more amateur than hers. And Sayori, she, re she always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if I was a part of the problem. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. Uh, Natsuki, you're doing it again. Once again, Natsuki clutches her poem a little too hard. She looks down. One second. Okay, cool. She looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult this was for her. But finally, she forces herself to extend her arms and set her poem on the, si on the table. You can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. Because you. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around. But when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout! But my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars. But, w but when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit taller because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all my heart. But what do I do when it's, all, when it's torn all apart? My faith is a little bit stronger because you trusted me. My pen always put my feelings to the test. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. My poems are a little bit dear because you think of me. Because you, because you, because you. Okay, that's obviously about me. Why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not like I don't like it. I was just a little surprised to read. Surprising to read, I should say. Or I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things come from you. D don't say that, dummy. What do you think the point of the writing is? Expressing things that you can't just say. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well, and I'm happy that you showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah, I I'm a pro, so... Natsuki mumbles, completely failing to sound confident like she usually does. Just remember that I can't think these things sometimes, too. I can think these things sometimes, too, I should say. You know, when you're nice to me, it's meaningful. Ah, I'm glad. Sensing Natsuki is satisfied, I, started, I start to hand the poem back to her. But as I do, Natsuki takes my hand and pushes them back away. Her small, soft hands surprise me with their assertion. I don't want it. Why not? I just don't. Jeez. She wants me to keep it. She likes me. How hard is that to grasp, you dummy? I realize what Natsuki is doing. Unable to be honest, she's trying to give me the poem in a roundabout way. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Instead of teasing her, I just go... Chose to go along with it. Good! If you didn't, I, uh... I would... Never mind. Just, I'm glad you want it. Natsuki backpedals on her words and leaves it at that. Despite her best effort to hide her expression, I can see her faintly just smiling to herself. That's all for now, so go put it away for someone sees it. before someone sees it, okay? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll go do that. With that, I return to my seat so that I can put away Natsuki's poem. What the hell is going on with Sayori? <laughs> Almost knocked my mic over. Yuri, it is. Oh boy! Well done, Caribou. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. <laughs> Sharing our writing like this. It's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. 
I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way to, for me to spend some more personal time with all the girls in this club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Caribou? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe that's most important. what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid or of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh, why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have some, have become someone whose opinion is fearsome? How unlikable of me. Yuri! It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just mean that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to some those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What, what, what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to show your poem now? Okay. Here. <laughs> Beach! A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface, under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds and endless enigma, the, is the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in, or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in a blink of an eye. Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle and yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, attempting by, tempted by the foaming tendrils. Turn back and I abandon my piece to encode the shore. Drift forward and I return to Earth forevermore. The fuck, man? Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. But I did my best to make a metaphor approach, a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't want, you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well... It was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I see. Something tells me that the poem Nusaki showed me isn't the one she plans on sharing with everyone else. Duh! <laughs> of course I chose not to mention it to, that to Yuri. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something s simple as an occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. I'm starting to get nervous here. Hi, Caribou. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a good look at the poems today. Sure. I let Monica take the poem out of my hand. Take the poem I'm holding in my hand. Sticky with the Natsuki style once more, I see. I, I kind of just tried to do everybody's style that last one, but whatever. Hmm. 
You really like Natsuki, don't you? Uh, that's... Oh, come on, Caribou. It's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Pretending to like manga the, that she's into. Y you know how Natsuki is. If I don't indulge her, she'll end up hating me. Eh? No, I think you're, you're misunderstanding, Caribou. It's not like Natsuki just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. In fact, I think you're the only one who indulges her as much as you have. Is that so? I kind of threw... I kind of knew that, but I didn't want to admit it. So I just need to ask one thing of you. Be careful, please. Natsuki is kind of unpredictable. A lot of times, she doesn't even know what she wants. Why is this doing that? After all, she's the youngest one here. She might not know how to handle her own feelings properly. What I'm saying is, if something bad happens, then it could end up damaging the club too. What the fuck are you talking about? And you wouldn't do that to me, right? What the hell are they- What Monica get, makes me worried oh, so often. This is around the same time yesterday where she she's worried with the whole save talk. Who knows what might happen? You're, you're giving me weird thoughts here. That's... I'm not sure how to respond to Monica. While I care about her in the club, it's also kind of unfair to bring that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you're, you'll do the right thing. Monica smiles sweetly. She's fucking... She is, she is playing me, dude. Anyway... I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Yay! Alright. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am. A feather. Lost adrift the sky. Victim to the, of the currents of the wind. Day after day, I search. I search with hope. Knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight, twilight, twi twilight, twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more gentle as a feather. A drill quiff expressionless. What the fuck, man? But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, all right? A hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I found every answer, all of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we think only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. To the endless nothingness, I feel nothing. Slice my wrist. Cut my wrist. I'm depressed. What the fuck? You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. That does not compute with your, po your, po your poem. Your poem doesn't... Okay. Not to go get too... <laughs> I can't say that word. I've never been able to say that word, so I'm skipping it or anything. But I was, but it was kind of my, uh, kind of on my mind. So that's what I want to talk about or wrote about. I see. I never really put too much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical, because if we did, if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world? start to lose its meaning you know it's one thing i've noticed it seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy <laughs> are you surprised we're all depressed pick us or we'll kill ourselves i mean if everyone was okay we'd re we wouldn't really have anything to write about would we humans aren't two-dimensional creatures i think you'd know but know that better than anyone i don't know what's going on here man you mean one-dimensional uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put too mu so much into. Hmm. 
I'm just getting suspicious here. But if you find other people who enjoy your writing, then sharing becomes a lot more easy. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll just focus more on everything that went into it and the things that can work on. That's nice! That's nice! <laughs> it's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. Man, write about more happy shit. It's, all, it's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <sighs> That's today's episode, guys. Long, enduring, and confusing. I don't know what's going on with this fucking game. How long is this? How long is this game? Guess we'll find out. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to continue going on, see how long I can do it for this day. Hopefully I can make it through the entire game at this point. So, make sure to support your boy. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and let me know what you guys are thinking and how you guys are feeling. Try not to spoil anything. But, you know, let's have some fun. See you guys next time, and peace.